Okay, guys. So, it is time to continue on with Volcano Manor. Let's go up the lift. And I do remember there's a second half to the dungeon. I remember this half here is a lot more of the lava stuff that you have to deal with. Um... Wait a minute, is there any items or anything up here? There are, aren't there? You can't get to it from here, can't Oh, yes, you can. I want to make sure we don't miss anything up here. This is very reminiscent of after you beat um, Pontiff Sullivan in Dark Souls 3, and then you can walk around the upper area of his, like, cathedral, and there's some items and alternate things to do up there. Yeah, look, there it is. There's the, I knew there was going to be an item over here somewhere. A golden rune nine. Well, that's useful. No complaints. Have I ever owned a lava lamp? I have not. I, I you know, when I was uh, in high school, certain things were all the rage. Black light uh, posters. Yes, I had black light posters and a black light when I was when I was in high school. I thought they were cool. I had two of them. I had a dragon and I had something else. I can't even remember what the other thing was. Um. Oh, look, we can actually just drop down right here and go this way. That's where we're supposed to go, I think. By the way. Um, but also, yeah, lava lamps were like, like you go to Spencer's Gifts and they had lava lamps like crazy and everything there. And, uh, <clears throat> I never had one. Live strong wristbands? No, that's after, that's after my time being a teenager. I was a teenager in the late 90s, come on. What are you talking about? Live, live strong armbands. Way after my time. What the fuck? A worthless smoldering butterfly. I'm glad I've wasted time getting that. These guys are stupid. You fight them, you don't even get anything for it. It's a waste of time. Another finger calling remedy of bullshit that I don't need. By the way, this looks amazing on my TV. Remember when I played this last year? I was on my very old TV. Well, not very old, but like four years old. Now, this new Sony that I've gotten since October. Dude, this game looks so good. The graphics, the lighting, everything looks so fucking good and colorful on here. It's really sweet. I think that's the volcano, right? Like, there's lava coming out of here. All right, I remember this. we got a frame rate choppiness right now. Oh, fuck me. I'm not fighting this guy. You can skip him. I know you can skip him, but I skipped him. Oh, you fucking piece of shit! He hits me through the wall! You can kiss my fucking ass, you dick face. He hits me through the fucking wall? Fuck you! <clears throat> what a fucking asshole cock monkey. Cock monkey. That's his new name, the cock monkey. The asshole cock monkey. That was bullshit. Karma? Karma for what? What'd I ever do? I'm a lowly mage. I get smashed in the paste every other second. How dare you say that was karma, Guts? How dare you? What's for dinner? So this is awesome. Cat is making a special Mexican meal for Cinco de Mayo. Homemade uh, enchiladas, although we're going to use ground turkey rather than chicken or red meat. Um, it should still be amazing. She's going to season it well. And it's going to be in, you know, these uh, tortillas with enchilada sauce and cheese and green chilies and all kinds of stuff she's going to put in there. It should be really freaking good. And uh, I can't wait for it, honestly. I'm kind of really excited about dinner. We're also going to have chips and salsa. Uh, which we got, like, restaurant-style tortilla chips and salsa. So we can, wait, we can descend or we can go this way? Uh, fuck, what's the right way? I think each way has its own stuff, doesn't it? Like, is there, I think there might be... Hmm. What's up, Beaver, bo Beaver Bother? I think there might be a point of grace coming up, if I remember correctly. 
What? Did you see that? Did you fucking see that? He missed, and then the game teleported me into his arms. Even though he fucking missed. Literally, I got teleported into his arm. That's bullshit. I, I was on the side of him. Wow. This game is really trying to annoy me right now. Where did I get the background artwork? This is all artwork that I purchased over a decade ago when I was at the height of my popularity on YouTube and I was going to various different gaming conventions and there were people who would make this kind of art. Um, you know, and you could buy it at the convention in like their artist alleys and places like that, their marketplaces. And at that time, I was looking for stuff to decorate my condo when I lived in Connecticut by myself uh, in my early days as a YouTuber. I figured, hey, this could be nice artwork for the background for videos and the like. And I, I did. I used it to some extent for that, but mostly it just kind of sat on my walls in my living room and didn't really get seen that much in videos. And then I kept it all these years. And then uh, this year, I decided to redesign my setup here to have all kinds of background decorations because now my camera is much better quality. My lighting's much better. And every month now, I'm alternating these different artworks in the background of my setup and people seem to really like it. I mean, I love it. I think it's really good. So, yeah, I'm very pleased with how it's going. And, uh, I hope that you like it. Now, let's see what's down here. If I remember, it's just a bunch of optional items. If I'm remembering correctly... This is not anything too important. It's just a bunch of optional stuff here, I think. Missionary cookbook, so again, if I was someone who was crafting a ton of shit, it would have been important. It's really not for my build, so it really doesn't matter that I did this. Uh, I received a tip, a $2 tip. Uh, have you ever spelt run while picking something up? Why would I say R-U-N? When I was in the motion of picking something up, that wouldn't even make sense. I think maybe there's a typo in this guy's tip. This is also the Godskin Duo is going to be tough. I get the feeling the Godskin Duo will legitimately be one of the hardest fights in the game for me. When originally in my first run, it was instant. Right? People are saying it's a troll tip. I, I don't get it. And I don't really care. I don't care. This is stupid. People are saying it's a troll. I don't give a fuck. This is the dumbest troll ever. Why would I care? What does it have to do with anything? It's the dumbest troll attempt. Anyway. Um. No, because it's dumb. Because people are saying it's it's not even a... It's a play on words that doesn't even make sense. Apparently, the, just listen to this. The joke is you bend over and you say, are you in? Which isn't even how you spell run. It's are you in? Not are you in? So you'd be saying to someone, are you like, are you in my butt or something? Like, that's not even funny. It's not even a troll. It's stupid. It's not, it's not even like close to being a legitimate troll. It's just dumb shit. <laughs> if you have to stretch to explain your trolling joke attempt, it's not a troll joke. You're just a moron, right? Like, I have to, I have to detail, make a detailed explanation for you on how this works. Crimson Tear Scarab. Why do I get the feeling this was stupid? I shouldn't have done that. I think what that is is when you use your, your uh, flask of Crimson Tears, it like heals you. I think that's what it is. It heals you more or something like that. So there's different ways to go. I'd go back this way and climb back up. Or if you go this way, I think this is a back way into the other area we've already been in. See? See? So this is a back way into like a tower we've already been in before. But let's check it out anyway just in case. But I don't think there's anything here we want. 
I think this is like the previous save point we were at. Yep, it's just a side way. See that? It was the way around the side of the thing. So nothing of significance there. But now, sadly, I have to go through the whole thing again. Yes, I do, because this is all looping. What a pain in the ass. Okay. No, you see, my humor relies on things being funny. Like, if you have to go so out of your way to explain a joke, then it's not a good joke. Jokes should be apparent. They should make sense immediately. You know, or just a slight, intelligent play on words. That's not even a play on words. It's You're making something sound differently than it actually does to try to say you're making someone say something they're not saying. There's nothing funny there. It's stupid. That's dumb humor. Not even humor at all. It's like you have to be stupid to think that's funny. <laughs> you know? Sadly, there's a lot of people who are stupid, so probably a lot of people do think that's funny. On top of that, isn't that kind of an insult? Like, if there's a guy bending over, another guy was going to pump him in the butt, and he goes for it. Why would you have to ask, are you in? Like, shouldn't you be able to tell? I mean, how small is this guy's dick, right? It's pretty insulting. You have to ask the question. It's pretty bad. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Right? He didn't die. Alright, I guess we've thoroughly explored the nonsense of this area on here. Now, if I remember, we go in there stuff, but also, if we drop down, there's more optional stuff this way. Yes, I'm remembering all of this. Oh, Jesus! I landed on the poor Scarab. I didn't mean to do that. A somber spitting stone 5? That's not good. It's a waste. Here's the bridge. We're above the bridge now. Is this how you drop down and get that item? It might be. That item um, that we saw like way earlier in the area. There's the bridge. Yeah, see, it's over there, isn't it? Like, there's a high up area with a robot. And then you can get an item. I think that's where we are. What's this now? I don't think I saw this before. Oh, no, this is where we go. This is it. This is where you're supposed to go. One way is where I died. And the other way is the uh, pr make progress, so. His head exploded. You see that? So here's a lift. Is this a shortcut? This might be a shortcut. Indeed it is. Yup, this takes us to the save point. So we can skip that whole stupid area. Good. I don't have to do that again. Although, if we keep going in that lava area, I do believe there's more items to grab. Yeah, I don't know, Beaver Bother. Obviously, I've never played <coughs> Shivering Isles before. I don't know if the quests tonight will be more uplifting than they were last time. Last time, they were quite depressing stuff. I guess we'll find out. What kind of melee weapon class has been my favorite? Oh, man, I don't know. I Honestly, I don't play these enough. To have favorite classes. I usually play each FromSoft game one to two times tops. If I do happen to go back, 
it's usually not for like an informed or intelligent run. It's for a particular reason or a request or something. I don't think I've played them enough to really have preferences, honestly. Great. Six, okay. I still don't know how to get that item over there with that robot. It's like down there. I don't know how to get there yet. I still haven't figured it out. Maybe it's a different direction? I don't know. Stop following me. Oh, let's see here. Uh, giant enemy crab, I'll see you later. The fuck? Anyway, so down there is where the item is with the robot, and I still don't know how to get down there. I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, I'll see you later. I was in the original Zelda. You had a dream of that? That's very weird. Uh, let's see. Why did I pick sorcery instead of faith? Because faith, I kind of used some faith in the original run. I didn't want to use faith this time around. I want to do something different. Am I getting armor core in the fall? I have absolutely positively no idea. Do I prefer a fast curved sword or a massive chunky axe? I've used both, and I like them both. I don't know. Use a stone sword key to get this item in a room ahead. Coming up, Stone Sword King. Oh, Jesus, I remember this. Crazy platforming to get to items. And I don't know if these are things I need. Do I need these items? Will these help me at all, these items? Or was this a waste? What do you think? I remember this is tough platforming, and some of the stuff you can't see because it's so dark. There's a somber smoothing stone 7 in here, so I should go in here. Alright. Alright. If you say so. Okay. Okay. Hui. Oh shit, I turned it off.
One of the guys that uh, Dung Eater tortured. Yup. That's one of the ones you need for his uh, quest line. Ash of Royal War, the Knight's Resolve. All right, keep looking. We're going up. There was no somber smithing stone seven. You lied. Now I'm back in the manor. You're so full of it. There was no somber smithing stone seven there. God damn it. God damn it. What a bunch of fucking bullshit. Was this the latest one? This was the latest one, right? <sighs> so is that a waste of a stone sword key or is there more items there, right? The only thing there was, what, two kind of crappy items for me that I'm not going to use. I don't care about the Ash of War or whatever the other thing was. This is just gonna drop me down where I just came. See, there is more. There's more in the room. There's all those items on the other side. There's two purple items, but I have no idea how to get over there, right? I don't know how you would get there, get to that side. It's gotta be from a different direction. It's definitely not from here, see? No. It does look like there's a thing you can drop to here. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Drop down there. Maybe I'm supposed to drop. Mm. Mm. I think I'm going to die. It looks like it's too far of a drop. But I do remember you can drop somewhere in this room and it takes you somewhere completely different. That might be it. But I'm not sure. Fucking worked. Where does this go? I guess this was right.
Okay. No problem, Mr. Whiskers says, thanks for listening to my suggestion about the long-tailed cat. Yeah. It worked. It took no fall damage, and uh, we're in a new area. Maybe this is it. I think this is going to be it, actually. It seems like it's taking us in the correct direction, no? Yeah. A dagger talisman. So there's still an item above us we don't have access to. We'll go down here. I don't know if we're going to get to it from here or not, but we'll definitely drop down. No, you're not going to surprise attack when you get the fuck out of here. Arunar. That's alright. Arunar is always okay. You know, not great. But not, not bad. So that's it. Yeah, there's nowhere else to drop now. This was basically the items on the other side of the room. There is still an item up there at the very tippy top that we haven't reached yet. And I don't know how to get to it. <clears throat> so... Got everything in the room but that tippy top item. It seems like you need to do that from another direction. I don't know the direction to get to it. I don't know. <laughs> Sucks. Because I don't know what the item is. It's so high up you think maybe it's good, but maybe it's not. I don't know. Uh, at the same time, if I drop all the way down, we've already done it. We know it's down there, right? So... All right, let's go back. So, again, I don't really know how to get that item high up in that room. I've tried twice. I've got all the other items. Not that one, though. Kind of sucks. Not going to lie. It kind of sucks. The item near the machine is a somber smoothing stone 7. That's great, but how do I get to it is the question. Like, I'm near it now, but this whole area... It does oh, wait a minute. Did you see what I just saw? I'm pretty sure I just found it. Another stone sword key, so it paid me back for using the stone sword key I used. And ladies and gentlemen, I think we're about to get where we want to go. No! We're not! It's just a stone sword key, that's it. Ah! It's just a stone sword key and nothing else. What a bunch of nonsense. God damn it. And a bed. Someone was sleeping in here. I mean, it's nice that I got the stone sword key back. That's not bad. But it's definitely annoying that I still can't figure out how to get... The, the, the item that I want is across the bridge, right over there. See that tree there? It's past the tree. There's a ledge, and there's a robot, and there's a item. And I saw that at the beginning of Volcano Manor, and I still don't know how to get to it. I haven't seen a way over there. I guess I'll, I'll run over here. You know what? Here's what we're going to do. This guy's an enemy right here. There's two enemies right here. Can I get them? There's also an item on the snake head. See that? Why can't I target the guy right now? Just fucking target him. He's right there. No, I can't just target the guy. This is bullshit that I can't just target him. I still can't target. Look.
that one. So you can get an item on that snake's head, but only by dropping down from the upper area there. I don't know what the hell that would be. This appears to be a dead end over here, right? Like, there's nowhere else to go here? We've been in that room. I doubt they put another room past it in the lava. That would be pretty fucked up. So, I guess we're done here, right? I'm being told, if I go back into the fucking room where we opened it with the stone sword key, and you do like a, you take a hard left, you can go somewhere different. This is so annoying. It's like, jeez, they really hid this stuff, huh? All right, keep going. We're running out of time. I didn't think we were going to fight or beat Rikert today anyway. We're almost at him. Right? I can't fucking see. Okay. Here's the what the fuck? Here's the door. This is the room I just came from, so that's not it. If I jump down here, I've already just walked through that room. That's not gonna benefit me in any way. See? And now we're in this room. This is a dead end. And now we're in this room. So I don't get it nowhere to go this way. This is just the cages that we've already been down, right? We've already done this. The item that we're looking for is not here, right? So, I don't know. I don't understand. Why did it untarget him? It untargets him after one 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 magic spell. Why is he doing that? He ran away. Killed all these assholes. No extra door or anything here. I could scale that snake's head and get this extra item, but I don't know what the item is. Oh, I like how the guy exploded with poison. It's nice. They die and explode with poison. Look at that. They do a bunch of damage, too, when they do that. A commoner's headband. How exciting. Great item. We've already done this. Yep, we've already done all of this. Yep, we did all those that stuff there. We explored everything. I don't know, man. I don't know where I possibly missed where you could get down to that item. I, I'm at a loss. There's 
Nothing down there. Nope. We, look, now you can actually see here. There's nothing hidden over there. So that's it for this part of the volcano. We pretty much cleared it thoroughly, right? Fast travel to Volcano Manor. That doesn't make any sense. Use the shortcut you unlock. Go down the stairs. Go straight. Volcano Manor. Down the stairs. Go straight. There's nothing here. Got a somber smoothing stone seven. I think that's my first of the playthrough. So thank you guys for helping me. It was actually particularly Jordan who was helping me with that one and trying to guide me through it. And I really appreciate that because that was pretty ridiculously cryptic to do. But we got it done. Okay, you ready? Now! We're gonna make progress. We're gonna try to get to Rikert now before the end of the stream. We've got about 10 minutes to do it. Last chance if anyone would like to help the stream in any way, as simple as liking the stream, or maybe a super chat or a super sticker or a tip, which would be nice because we haven't had one in about two hours. No exaggeration. Um let's go. Let's go. If you felt I gave you exemplary service on today's stream, befitting of support, then please, if you could, I would appreciate it if you could support today's stream. anymore i don't even care the the deaths are so stupid bullshit in this game it's like i had a shield he grabbed me yet the hits continued to do damage for no reason i had a shield that's what i drank the flask for so why did the shield not help me Brandon, I'll see you tonight.
Okay. Now we try to get to right. And this is how you get to Riker. This is the end of the dungeon, right? Well, I guess we're about to lose 20,000 uh, souls. 20,000 runes. I didn't save it to Grace. I didn't see a Grace. I didn't see a Grace anywhere there. There was a Grace there. I didn't even see it. So I'm going to lose my 20,000. It's fine. Where's this stupid thing? It's a gimmick weapon. I gotta find it. I don't even know where it is. Serpent Hunter? Yes. You're supposed to two-hand, right? And use the special ability? Correct? How do you two-hand this thing? How do you two-hand? I forgot how to do it. Anyone remember? I've forgotten how to two-hand. All I can do is this. That's not two-handing. That puts it away. How do I fucking two-hand? R1 and triangle? Oh, thank you. Okay. I only have four healing, which is really stupid. I should have brought way more. Yeah, I'm pretty fucked here. I literally can't take a hit. I literally cannot take a hit on this boss. I have no health. Remember, this is a gimmick boss. Normal attacks don't work on it. You have to be using uh, this weapon, right? I almost feel like Riker will be one of the harder bosses for me in the game. Because I'm not going to have any health to do it, right? And apparently people were saying there was a, a bonfire. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Or a point of grace. I didn't see it. I ran up the stairs. I saw the teleport, but I didn't see the fucking thing. There's no point of grace. What are you talking about? There's no fucking point of grace. Oh, shit. It's right here. I totally didn't see it before. All right. Now I got it. All right. So I guess this is what we'll be doing next stream because there's no way I'm beating him in the next one to two attempts. Uh, I guess flasks, one million percent. Uh... Put it all into health. I don't need any magic in this fight. Zero. Magic won't help me at all. It's all about just using this spear over and over. So. Okay.
I literally can't get hit. I have to flawlessly fight this boss. <laughs> it's going to need flawless to win. How am I going to do that? How the fuck am I going to get this guy to flawless victory? Right? So I don't even need the healing flasks. They're worthless. Change talismans. True. I won't need any of these, right? I mean, this one I need. Not these, though. Would this be considered a charged skill? Perhaps it would. Enhances critical hits. That could be good, actually. Hands a critical hit. And then... Where was the other one? Charged moves. This one? Okay. Maybe this will help. Probably not. Probably not. I could use the Great Room. That is true. I could try using a Great Room. All right, one or two more tries, that's it for today. I guess this might be the whole next stream. I knew this was going to be one of the hardest fights in the game for this build. I have no health. And the second the second form is harder than the first. This is the easy part of the fight.
Tyler, see you tonight. Delicious. All right, one last uh, shop. tail. I had no idea he could hit you with his tail. And it was a pretty awesome attack. Okay. One more hit. One more attempt. I just really, after this, I gotta go. I can smell dinner. I can smell dinner! This is, like I said, I hated this in the first run, too. A lot of people say, oh, I love it. I actually hate this. I don't like gimmick fights in these games. Like, if everything you've done in the game is built a certain build to maximize that build, but now you're in a fight where none of it works. I don't like that. I, I built the build on purpose so that I could be strong and I could do things that are, you know, taking advantage of my strengths. Tail got me, you saw that? See, this fight is nonsense. For this build, this fight is legit nonsense. It's too hard. Because my build can't absorb a hit. I need to be able to run around and use magic and shit doesn't work. Do you think you can kill him with normal magic? Probably not, right? It probably you, you don't have enough FP, right? Alright. Well, that's it for now. We will try it again next time. Which will be in a few days. Uh Monday. Monday's when we're coming back to this. And uh, we'll see what happens. But thank you guys. Great stream. Thanks to those who did support it. We made, uh, you know, good progress today. The inverted tower and all of Volcano Manor. And next time around, we try to figure out how to beat him with zero health. Which is going to be nearly impossible considering the fact that uh, I could barely beat him with monstrous health in the first playthrough. And uh, then onward to more stuff. So thank you all again. I uh, really appreciate you guys. I really appreciate you guys chilling with me.
and having a good time. And uh, those who did support the stream, thank you very much. Until next time. All righty.